this is Amy at Vending Works, and today I'm going to show you how to test your refrigeration compressor deck inside your vending machine. Um, I'm using a Dixie Narco stack style machine, but the concept applies for pretty much any vending machine for how to test the unit while it's still in the machine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this can chute so that we can see a little better, and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, now that I've done that, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the machine itself is disconnected from power. You do not want power going to the machine, so unplug it from the wall. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the compressor deck directly into an extension cord so that we're not getting power from the machine, we're getting power externally. Okay, so now that the machine is unplugged, disconnected from power, I'm going to unplug the deck from the machine and plug it directly into this extension cord. Okay, now we're going to shut the door and we're going to let that run for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, let's take a look inside. All right. Now this is what it should look like. We've got good frost accumulation across the evaporator. This is important here. If you've got frost here on your accumulator, you know for sure that this unit is good. Okay, so if your unit looks like this, and we've got frost going all the way through the system and reaching the accumulator, that is a good functioning refrigeration unit. Now, if you do this test and your frost is forming across the top or just down the side or on our little capillary coil and it's not making it through to the accumulator, you're, you have a problem somewhere in the unit and the compressor deck will need to be replaced. Now the reason the accumulator is so important um, to, to have frost on it is because that's the, the last bit of the unit to get refrigerant to it. That's the, the end of the line, so to speak. So the refrigerant has already run through the entire evaporator and gets over to the accumulator and so you know our refrigerant is going all the way through the system. It's not leaking, it's not bad, it's a good quality unit. Now the reason we have to unplug the machine um, and shut the door and all of that is because in order to perform this test, the evaporator needs to be isolated. So we can't have any air flowing through the evaporator, we can't have our evaporator fans on, we can't leave the door open, um, anything like that will tamper with the heat exchange and will show invalid results of this test. So it's important to follow every step of the test. Um, I'm gonna show you what it would look like if we were to have left the machine on and have the evaporator fans on, and if we were to have performed this test in any other way, what it would look like. Okay, now this is a test of the exact same unit in the exact same machine, except I left the vending machine plugged in and I did everything else exactly the same. So now let's take a look. Okay. Okay, so we don't see hardly any frost. We see some over here on the side and on this coil here. We don't see any frost on the accumulator. It does feel very cold to the touch, but there is no frost. Now, if you didn't follow the steps of the test, then you would think that this was a bad unit because I just told you there would need to be frost all the way through, all the way to the accumulator, and you'd look at this and say, oh, that must mean this is bad. But actually, this is the exact same deck, and it is a perfectly good working unit. We just accidentally left the machine plugged in, so our evaporator fans are on, and we didn't get the correct results. All right, that's our video. Thanks for watching. If you do need to replace your unit, visit our website at bennyworks.com. If you've got any questions, leave a comment for us.